have some good news for for us. I am rebooting the Good Life live stream. Rebooting it, uh, what I mean is uh, new content, new look, new feel, new attitude. I am really focused on what God has for me, and it really is uh, all about the good life. Uh, focused just on that. I have a lot of things I could share and, and uh, would love to share, but this is what the Holy Spirit gave me, and I'm going to stick with it. And I am going to inundate you with information that will help you live the good life. And you'll see some, some great changes in the weeks ahead. I got some, some good things in store. <clears throat> but uh, let me get started here. Um, my go-to scripture is John 10.10. 10. Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and you might have it abundantly. Some translations say super abundant. Uh, I, I like that. Have super abundant life. Jesus came that we might have super abundance. One translation says life overflowing. Uh, Amplified Bible, in fact, says life overflowing. So that's the will of God is for you to have a good life, a life that's overflowing with blessings. And don't let anyone ever talk you out of that. I am here to tell you that it makes God happy when you're blessed. It's his good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And if you go back to the book of beginnings, Genesis uh, chapter 1 verse 28, God actually commands man, and Adam of course was the progenitor of the entire human race, so it wasn't just a, a commandment upon the original man, but upon all of mankind to be fruitful and multiply and replenish and subdue and take dominion. And the word replenish is a very interesting word. It is mata, and it means to have abundance. Praise God, to have abundance. It's God's will for us to have abundance, and that uh, that's his uh, original plan for man, original intent, and that has not changed. Now, Jesus came as the last Adam to restore everything that the first Adam lost. When the first Adam entered into sin, uh, there was a curse as a consequence. And God said, okay, now you're going to dwell by the sweat of your brow, by toil and hardship. And it's going to be pressure. It's going to be a strain. It's going to be stress. And believe you me, a lot of people are under that curse today. Life is difficult. It's stressful. It's a strain. They're toiling hard. They're working and not getting ahead. They take three steps forward. They slap, slide back two or more. I hope that's not describing what you're going through. But even if it were, I've got good news for you because Jesus undid that curse. He became a curse for us. And so the curse was reversed through the substitutionary sacrifice of Christ. He was the last Adam and he fulfilled and restored and fixed that Adam messed up. Why? So that you can live the good life. Now, that's my message for you today. It's short and sweet, but I want you to become a John 10, 10 person. What do I mean by a John 10, 10 person? That you're living the good life. Now, you have to keep your faith built up every day. So every day I'm going to give you some content, some thoughts, some ideas, some insights, some principles that will help you achieve the good life that Jesus came for you to have and that you might be restored to God's original intent, and that is to, to multiply and be fruitful and to replenish and subdue and take dominion. Doesn't that doesn't it sound great? Yeah, well, listen, this is the day the Lord has made. I want you to be happy and rejoice in it. And I'm going to remind you that it is your it is God's will for you to have increase. Do not allow anyone to talk you out of your blessing. They didn't die for you. They didn't go to the cross for you. They didn't conquer death, hell, and the grave for you. Jesus did. And he did it that you might have life super abundantly. So let's make up our minds to live the good life. Be with me uh, Monday through Thursday, all the weekdays except for Friday. And I'm going to give you new content Monday through Thursday. 
on how to live the good life. I'm going to make it easy, but you're going to have to put it to work in your life. And, and get a hold of me and write me, Pastor Larry at zchurch.life. I want to celebrate with you. I want to help you achieve your dreams and goals. And so if you have a prayer request or if you have a praise, re praise report, get a hold of me. And visit us at zchurch.life Saturday mornings, 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific time. That's enough for today. I will say goodbye, and we're going to end this live stream. So keep it simple, sweetheart. Sometimes the most beautiful things can be so simple.